Hey guys, what's up? My name's Theo. I play middle linebacker for the Hills and Hurricanes. That is in the Netherlands. That is in Europe. Uh, I play Euroball. Uh, we are currently in between seasons, um, but that will be starting up sometime in September. I've heard some rumors about something. I don't know. It's hard to do. Anyways, that'll get to in the news section. Um, every Friday for the summer, I'm putting out football-related content on the channel, but I do vlog every single day. And these videos are usually put by these helmets if I'm eating, if I'm sitting here or when I go to practice. There'll be maybe sometimes <laughs> if I get any film at practice. By the time we get back, it'll be getting dark, so it's a little awkward to try to film, <laughs> especially if we're working at half lights. So, anyways, how these videos go is I do comment responses um, to football-related content, not everything. Uh, and then I talk about news, which is weird. We have a lot of comments. Um, some of them I haven't have not responded to yet because I found them this morning. So let's go back to okay. So Christopher Otero on the football uniform suit up just did a bunch of football emojis. Cool. <laughs> um, someone said on the Sisu mouth guard molding. Sisu mouth guards are these. That needs to be remolded. <laughs> um, it's also dusty. <laughs> I haven't used them in like a month, and I was cleaning the case. Anyways, he says it's only only thing it's protecting is chipping of teeth. What do you expect a mouth guard to do? There's a you know this because like this and then this stuff here protects your teeth from and like cracking and breaking. Um, there's also a weird idea that it adds a little bit of cushion for like shockwaves that go open. I haven't found any good scholarly articles on that, but there's a lot of people that say, well, it's not like it hinders. But I like these because it gives the ability to talk. Get one. I'll do a yellow one. Ah, perfect. But yeah, ah. works just fine for stuff. You know, you can. I'm not going to drink with hot coffee because it'll deform but yeah I have a yellow one a blue one a white one and a black one and I probably should remold them all before the next season just to make sure that everything's all set up and stuff and they stick in your mouth while you're talking and you can drink again I don't have anything cold to drink right now but it's functional and especially helps for the speaking position I mean if you want to have the whole binky thing and relive your infancy you know totally fine whatever that's on you, that's, that's a personal preference thing. Uh, Jeffrey Tyndall, what's up Dash, I've been following you forever. Tonight's gonna be my first night in our high school game jerseys. This was on last week's shoulder pads and sleeves. <laughs> We've been in pads and helmets for weeks, but it's pretty exciting. What do I think of Baker Mayfield on the Panthers? I'm still confused <laughs> as to what's going on with that. Um, apparently Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold are both doing their thing on as, as quarterbacks and I'm not I just it feels like there's something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about and we'll find out more once the season happens um, again it would be like if you hire Russell Wilson and Tom Brady do is there you know especially if you got Tom Brady first and, and I understand that there's the, the whole bang right now with the Dolphins and we'll get into that one uh, but that's I mean I think he's gonna do you know I play defense <laughs> I'm a linebacker I want my offense whether it's a team I'm rooting for or the team I'm playing on to put up points. My job is to stop points from being put up by the other team. That's my job. If I can put up points for my team, that's great. <laughs> Safety, pick six, yada yada. And to give them the, less, the least amount of chances possible. As long as he's not getting injured and his completion is relatively okay, I'm fine. <laughs> like, that's the thing. Like, I don't need a quarterback to be an amazing, suave character or whatnot, or what do I think of him? I just need him to do his job like I would with any other football player. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> if your kicker is PAT less than 95% or something like that, we need to talk. <laughs> like, kickers have missed one like two field goals in a row after hitting 
38 in a row in games, and they've been like, oh, fired. <laughs> so, you know, but that's the NFL. Uh, same video, Unbelievable Dude E says, nice video, man, fire emoji. On my screen, it looks like a, a red hand, but it could be a fire emoji. Me, glad you enjoyed. Uh, C back on the football uniform suit up, so helpful. And then I need a video on how to take the shoulder pads off. So I put up a shorts on the channel over last weekend after seeing that comment um, on how to take football pads off. It is not in a super compression jersey, but it is in a tight fitting jersey. I do have a compression jersey from a team in the States still. Um, we, I, I could show how that one works, but again, I, I need the, I need the requests for it. I'm not gonna. Video last week, yo, I watched your 2016 on your uniform and it was fire. My practice is tomorrow. Me, good luck, brah. Uh, Cy was here, original suit up video. I swear, if y'all roasting him, I'll be mad. He's so nice, just the whole vibe. Mm -hmm. But they are. It's just the thing is, you go down to, if you go down in the comments of the original suit, suit up video, there are some pretty nasty comments down there. I've left them up because one day, I think I got like 20 comments in one day, and I was just like, I don't want to deal with it anymore. I just like didn't open the app at all. But yeah, they're there, but I, I, I promote positive con comments. But after a fashion, like if they're like, oh, look at the guy's belly. I'm, I am not a teenager. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not that vain to be able to make sure that I have abs all the time to impress the chicks. First of all, gay. Two, um, in that video, I'm 34. Turning 35 that year. Come on, guys. There's just something that happens. Like, people have already had a uh, high school, college, you know, a possible NFL career starting at 24, played for five years, and retired from the NFL at like 29, 30. And then five years later, I made a video of that. That's just. I didn't start football till I was late, but it just goes to show you can still play later in life. You might just have to not necessarily be a skill position anymore. Uh, Edgar K, don't know, know, says he got a nice ass anyways. The video was great. I love your colors, yo. And then blue hearts, and then what the hundred emoji, and then a whole bunch of hard returns. He definitely got the drip. Fifteen of ten. Fire! 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 Die. I've lost track of what Gen Z means half the time. So I'm going to give that a thumbs up. Latimore says, yo, I love your videos, but the post in the background says, I like dudes. It's just really weird. No hate, but do you like dudes? Yeah, me. It's not a secret. <laughs> I mean, that video was from June 17th, 2016. People were just finding my channel for football at that point, and they didn't know. But if you watch continuously, you know. <laughs> Um, but because of the comments from that post, that poster, when I did the Bridge Steve Ballers uniform, I did show off that poster. I don't have that poster anymore. I had to move overseas. Somebody asked on actually my intro video, are you still gay? Yes. That was six hours ago, actually. Are you still gay? Yeah. Can't believe I'm having to have this conversation, but that's why I put it in there. Here I am and what makes me different. Am I still gay? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's not a, it's not a ploy to get views. Um, I mean, I made a TikTok, and anyways. Uh, Omar Wone says, it's gonna be my first get suited up with my friends play high school football. That was from three hours ago while I was asleep. Actually, no, that was freshly this morning when I just woke up. Anyways, United States and commenting in the middle of the night sometimes is weird. But anyways, so, we have another one It says, I'm starting to play football and I have a question. This one's from four days ago on a different thing. Um, how is a helmet supposed to fit? Someone else, Martin Fernandez, says, comfortable with a little tight and it makes, it doesn't hurt your head or in any part. I gave like a big wub up of what, what to do, but I'm gonna grab my current helmet and show you why something, and I, this is a Riddell. So I'm gonna show you on that one too. Okay. So with a Zenith, it has this skull cap on the inside versus the actual helmet. So it would be a, it's a little thin at first, but then these pads fit in multiple spots of your head and this thing wraps around and your head, this kind of floats on you. See how these are like loose? 
after a fashion. You cannot inflate this, but it does mold around your head in the hex pattern. <laughs> um, but the chin strap comes through and pulls on this thing, which pulls it in on the back of your head. As you guys can see, you have to pull it open. You have to pull, sometimes you have to pull just a little bit. Slides right on. And then this is here, and then So here's the actual helmet I have. This is how you know when it fits well. Do you, can you turn your head and the helmet moves with you? So if you turn your head fast and the helmet lags a little bit, like, <clears throat> that's exaggerated, but if it lags a little bit, it's too big. You may need to just inflate it a little bit in certain locations, that might help. But if it's currently on your head, and you're not even like strapped up and it's squeezing, maybe let some air out. If it's supposedly in your size. I wear an adult large. So, yeah. This helmet is seeing its years and having, I mean, fidget. This happened before my shoulder injury. Like, ugh, this paint is chipped, you know. The rubberized coating on the face mask is being chipped off due to linemen. So anyways, here is a helmet. This is a replica, but you can see it has actual padding on the inside. This actually does fit my head, but it does squeeze in a couple of locations. You have to remember, it's gonna squeeze a little bit, but you should feel a little pinch, kind of around here, a little pinch. Let's move this out of the way so I can get my voice out. And this will pull in here. Because this is a decorative helmet, I'm not gonna undo this stuff, but this sits in here, these get pulled up and all that jazz. And this basically, what this chin strap will do is prevent that from happening, basically. Um, you know, it's only here to hold your chin into this direction to keep it on your head. It's not always going to work, especially when you hit hard, like a linebacker. So, yeah. Okay, those are in a weird location now. So that's pretty much how the helmet's supposed to be. It's supposed to squeeze a little bit, um, but again, it's not supposed to, like... Uh, like, if you're feeling like you're going cross-eyed and losing, like, you're, you're leaking out your ear from squeezing your head too much, go a size higher from like medium to large, and then maybe inflate it a little bit more. But when it comes down to helmets, they're very personal feeling. But the general idea is it's not supposed to squeeze, but it's not supposed to sit on your head like the bubble head sort of idea. So, I mean, that's kind of the idea. Strap it up, make sure you're not having it squeezed, and then shake your head around. <laughs> you know, cause like, if you, like with the Zenith, if I did that, and the helmet came up a little bit too loose, pull in the chin strap a little bit more if the chin strap might be too loose. Um, with this one, you know, if I throw my head back like that, cause getting pushed by the, you know, getting here, you know, cause you go in for a tackle and the shoulder hits you and pushes this up. If the helmet pops off, you need to pull the chin strap just a little bit more underneath to do that and not have it pull your head off. <laughs> we don't need to be going to like medieval France. <laughs> this is supposed to be football, not, you know, eat the rich. Going back, talking about news. Um, so there's a filming day set up for the social media team and the recruitment team. Um, that is next Wednesday. Yes, that is next Wednesday. So I'll probably have some behind the scenes from that one to post in next week's video. Uh, we're gonna have a meeting Tuesday night, I think, to figure out what the script is gonna be. And I know that the Dutch sometimes don't necessarily mean they mean an actual like written out script. They just mean like a game plan, an agenda um, per se. So that's understandable. 
and I heard a rough rumor about a combined practice between our team and another team here in the Netherlands on September something, September 13th. It was on an Instagram post of mine, and I was like, ah, uh, that's a 18th. 18th is a Sunday. So apparently we're having practice at least on September 18th. <laughs> um, that's very awkward um, for social media things, and I should probably... Anyways, yeah. So let's move on to um, the Dolphins. Ah, uh, yeah. So a lot of people, I, I understand that the actual terminology that the NFL uses is called tampering, but literally this is poaching. In the rest of the business world, if you go from one, if you are a part of, say, Microsoft, and you start contacting people who are hired by Apple to try to get them to come work for you after the end of the year or when they get back from vacation or you know when their contract is whatever, then that, that's poaching. But apparently in the, in the thing it's called tampering. Um, I can only, I, I don't really understand why they call it tampering. I, I understand that it happened with uh, Brady and the Patriots and that it happened with Sean Payton uh, for coaching. And it's just, it seems, if anybody has seen pictures of the guy who owns the Dolphins, 1.5 million is nothing to him. He spends 1.5 million to get his hair done, what little there is of it left. But, you know, it's just rich white guys that own football teams. That They're all, mm, they're all relatively the same. And, you know, I think people are like, but then, like, Belichick is now, Bill Belichick on NFL discipline of Dolphins for tampering with Tom Brady in 2019. And it's true. It's in the past. Like, should people get punished? Yeah. You know, it'll prevent it from happening in the future. But this was 2019. This was pre-pandemic. <laughs> uh, you know, like, we were able to have the Super Bowl, you know, it was the Chiefs 49ers. I was... A great Super Bowl. I was kind of hoping for, you know, and the Patriots weren't even in that. <laughs> so it's like, uh. you know, and then the whole world went into like lockdown and we were all confused, but it's just sort of like, <sighs> I don't know. When it comes down to management in the NFL, so this is why I don't play Madden, because it feels like it's much more team ownership. Uh, well, you get to d design your own plays. I'm not a quarterback, I'm not a coach. Besides, I don't even think that helping, I don't even think that Madden would necessarily help with me on coaching. I don't think normally. I would much rather get my hands on, see someone's playbook, see things that function well from a previous base playbook and make modifications necessary for the team that year, rather than just be like, oh, well, let's just run a triple wing fly, or whatever the terminologies are. <laughs> If you have to have a dot, dot, dot after your offensive play name on Madden, it's stop. But anyways, back to the thing. I don't, like, it's the Dolphins. When, when were the Dolphins, like, good? Oh, Ace Ventura. That's, that's the last time I really heard anything about the Dolphins and now is in for tampering. Really? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, one of the, one of the tight ends from... Lele he's a Dolphins fan. I should talk to Quentin. Anyways, but yeah, that's pretty much that. I will chat with you guys again next week. I'll have a little bit of probably behind the scenes footage. Again, that's happening on a Wednesday. Probably gonna be more in the evening. We're gonna be at our field. We're gonna have pads. Mostly gonna be filming stuff for a possible TikTok. But again, I don't have authorization to make an account for the team. Because uh, it just so the PR team for the actual club is uh, the whole Netherlands is on vacation right now, and that's what sucks. But anyways, I will chat with you guys next week. If you have any questions about football gear, how the Netherlands works in terms of stuff, totally fine. Ask them below.